Wes, I guess uh, this is a game that you're particularly looking forward to? Yeah, definitely. Um, it'd be nice to go back, um, see some people that work works at the club that I've um, shared some time with and, and got great memories um, with. Um, so it'd be, it'd be nice to go back and uh, see them people. Yeah, I guess things have changed, but do you think that the Pompey way will be much the same as always? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, they, they've made a great start to, to the season and, and going in the right direction. Um, so we know going there, it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, I mean, from you as a, as a former player, I guess it's always special, isn't it? Going back to your, your former club, especially uh, going back to, to your old stomping ground, it's always a special thing to look forward to. Yeah, definitely. Um, I sort of had a great period of time. Obviously, I uh, had an injury last year, um, which, which hindered that slightly. Um, but it would be nice to go back and, and play in front of the crowd. Yeah, and, and what sort of reception do you expect from the, from the crowd? Are they, they people that, are they fans that tend to remember their former players? I'm not sure really. Um, hopefully it will be a good reception. Uh, I'd like to think I, I gave everything for, for the club as I do every club that I play for. Um, but whether, whether they actually do, you, you never know. No, yeah, just take it in your stride I suppose and, and get on with the game. I mean, what's the mood like in the camp this week? Um, it's okay. Um, obviously d disappointed to go all the way to Accrington and, and not get anything out of the game. Um, we, we didn't start great um, and we know that. and. We need to put that right on, on Saturday because if we don't start um, right against Portsmouth then it'll be the same thing and it could be 1-2 and the, the game could be over within the first 20 minutes. So we know we've got to go there, um, hold our heads high and, and challenge um, and fight for, for the points. Yeah, and, and Portsmouth losing midweek, um, how do you guys feel about that? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You never know. Um, I think it's their first game that they've, they've lost. Um, so obviously they're going to be wanting to put that right, um, but we've got to concentrate on ourselves, um, we, we need the points. Um, it's been a tough time recently, um, we, we just need to go out there fight and, and hold our heads high and play with a bit of confidence. Yeah, can you use it as motivation if you like, you know they can be beaten, so that's the attitude that you can, or you can take away from that game that uh, extra, the performance extra put in, you can take uh, your sort of own game in if you like and use that as a template. Yeah, I think uh, in this league uh, any team can beat any team on their day. Um, but we, we have to be more consistent and, and uh, we need all of our players to be at it. Um, like I said, they're, they're a great side and, and we need to be focused on, on the jobs that we've got. Yeah, I'd imagine there'd be a fair few Yeovil fans that want to make the trip to Portsmouth as well. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a big occasion. Always go, go to Fratton Park because of the crowd that, that they sort of bring in um, and the, the club, the, the size of the club. Um, so hopefully we, we can put on a display and, and a performance which which will please our fans and, and sort of take something out of the game. Yeah, they're most people's favourites, aren't they, to go up for a promotion anyway. Would you join that? Would you expect them to be uh, in the mix at the end of it all? Yeah, definitely. I think um, the last few years when, when they got relegated to, to League 2, uh, I think they've been favourite every every season to go up. So um, now they're putting in the performances and, and they've got a strong squad. So we, we'll have to go there and, and do work hard and do our stuff. Yeah, and on a personal level, how are you feeling in terms of the injury? Just come back from that, how's that coming along? Yeah, it's okay. I'm still wearing a bit of protection there, um, so it's still not 100%, but um, it was nice to nice to get a game on, on Tuesday and um, slowly build my, my match fitness back up. Yeah, is that, is that what it's about for you now, just getting back into it and, and, and you know, I suppose playing as long as you can, as much as you can? Yeah, definitely. I mean, through pre-season and, and the early games, um, I was feeling good, feeling fit, so it's a little bit unlucky to to be out for such a long period of time with, with fingers, it, it was very frustrating and um, now the aim is just to, to keep getting the minutes on the pitch and, and building that base level of fitness up so, so that I can last 90 minutes week in week out. Yeah, you mentioned about the cast that you have to wear, uh, the support and so on, how long do you envision that's uh, going to have to stay on? Um, for the foreseeable at the moment, um, I haven't spoke to the, to the surgeon again yet, I think I've got another appointment in a couple of weeks. Um, so we'll see what they say, but the more protection that I can get at the moment, the better. Um, and it's allowing me to, to get back out on the pitch. Yeah, good luck, Wes. Thanks for Thank you. Cheers. Just, uh, yeah, just how frustrating is it as a player to have to watch from the sidelines, especially with an injury that was such a sort of freak injury in a way? Yeah, definitely. Um, being injured is never nice. Um, and out on the pitch, you always want to want to get out there and help. Um, that's what our job is, to play football. And, and when you can't do that job, it's frustrating. Um, so it's really disappointing when you when you have the injuries, and I think personally that's the hardest part about football, is being able to deal with not being able to do what you love. And uh, we saw you play a sort of slightly deeper role on Tuesday, but you thought to play advanced and even out on the on the wing. Do you see yourself as a versatile midfielder, or is there a particular position that you prefer playing? Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind being versatile um, as long as I keep getting the games and, and can nail down a position. Um, I just want to play every game. Um, I think if you're not like that as a player, then, then there's something wrong. Um, so hopefully, if, if the manager feels that I can play somewhere um, needed for that specific game, then, then I'll be happy to do the job for the team. Because I guess now there's more competition coming back with, you know, in, especially in midfield, there's been a lot of injuries and there's been a lot of players out, but you're coming back, you no know, lads on his way back, so they'll be, you'll be fighting for a place now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's always competition, healthy competition. Uh, we need to push each other on and hopefully the, the standards will, will come with that and as a team hopefully we'll, we'll get more consistent and find a balance and, and a settled 11 if you like um, to be able to go and do that.